Good morning, everybody. My name is Osa. We have that going. We have the microphone. It's on it in the wrong place. And I don't have my monitor up yet, but it looks like we're broadcasting. So I'm just going to drive down to the farm since it's about to rain. We'll get sat there, then I will not let the rain already. Then we will sit out the rainstorm and get the harvest started. So, have everyone had a good week? We are here again. The new PC is now up and running. Obviously, I assembled that middle of two weeks ago and spent Saturday afternoon and parts of this week getting things set up. So, loading all the games and all the other stuff and forgot things and had to put other things on. And I need to close that, close that, uh, open that, and go there. Okay, that looks good. Um, what else happened? Um, so I spent yesterday um, checking the farming simulator status. We have gone to high graphic settings. We're still at 1080p and we're only running at 60 frames a second. 59.6 if you get uh, accurate and that's because that's the limit of the monitor on the plane so we're looking at upgrading to a 1440p which runs about or will probably run about 144 megahertz or thereabouts and hopefully we'll be able to up a little bit more with the graphical output but for right now we're still using the old monitor so it is what it is put that there drop that off and oh look we've just started streaming so Tina Joseph gets up and expects to be supervised for making breakfast she knows the rules Lift it up and we will do that to unfold it. Okay, so that's the silage fork all ready to go. And put that there. So I had to load up early this morning and just have the game sitting around loading the graphics because it is all juddery as all heck with uh, normal start um, and yeah much like when you uh, do things um, when there's a game update the graphics gets all jittery for the first five minutes while you move around the map so we've done all of that at the very least I've tabbed between all the vehicles so all that has to resolve now is the places I haven't been but since we'll be driving there it won't do significant you know, freezes because of that okay we'll come around here I believe we have we've got two partial pallets of silage additive there and we got two full pallets in the back of the truck uh, but I think for now we will speed up time and get to midday I already did this once unfortunately I wasn't paying attention while I was doing it and we got to four o'clock in the afternoon kind of want to harvest this afternoon so rain was supposed to be from about 10 till midday 
And there we go, the rain has now stopped. We'll keep going till about one o'clock. And yeah, that's fine. Okay, let us, what are we doing? Oh, we are doing all sorts of things, so. Um, we do have a new forage harvester because that came up in the store sales. Um, okay, that's that. It's unfolding. I need to actually. So some of the nice things I found, apart from all the graphical settings had to be reset, they might not have been. They might have been absolutely fine. Um, the game saves obviously save to the cloud, so that's a good thing. The Oh, I was quite surprised. Excuse me. Um, all of the um, keyboard mapping is stored on the cloud as well. Um, that kind of surprised me. The only thing I had to do was back up the. back up the mods folder and the mod settings folder and copy those over. Um, that doesn't look... Oh, new PC. I guess those bits weren't updated, so we'll do that. That looks a bit better. Multiple tools one. Everything else. Island bypass mode center up and down start work on the headland I think I want round let's generate that again okay Awesome plan, and try that again. Get this thing moving. So I think for now we'll do the first headland. Uh, okay, we'll fill this cart up. Once the the cart's full, um, I will get the mower started. The mower can just do everything that we need it to do. I'm not going to worry about collecting anything. I believe the weather said that tomorrow is going to be good. So we've got, well the sun's about to come out. Ooh, that'll dry things off. But yeah, we'll be good with the uh, grass that we cut and um, then that will run in the fields. We can collect the grass later once we finish doing this or until I get bored with doing this and then we'll just go and collect grass, which is probably about as exciting as following the uh, forage harvest around that. Although, Technically, well, we will be filling this truck up quicker because we've now got a wider header. 
we'll have to empty it more frequently. So it's kind of a little bit of good things, a little bit of bad things. I haven't checked the field prices lately. We do have 276,000 money. Now the thing they did do is during all the uh, driver installs and what have you, I've got a different um, uh, what is it? Logitech driver. They've replaced the old one. I'm not going to get that reversed. And then. Um, Obviously, I'm now on a Radeon graphics card, so the graphics card drivers are all different. Um, and uh, but everything else seems to be okay. The processor is a Ryzen 5 5600X3D, which is only available in America if from Micro Center. So very restricted um, availability. Came bundled with a motherboard and 32 gigabytes of RAM. DDR5 6000, so are we done with that? That should come out there. So I spent most of Thursday and Friday last week, um, or previous week, getting that all set up, configured, so systems running at what is allegedly full speed. Now I did hear some tech experts suggesting, and I don't know whether this is true, the Ryzen 5 5600X3D is not a manu you know, an intentionally manufactured processor. It's, um, it's basically all the processors they made for the 7800X3D that didn't make the grade, either their thermal um, What button do I press to open it? Tip side. 15 plus 2. Oh. Is that that one? No. Excuse me. I'm going to look up the uh, crib sheet. 15. Oh, the middle one. Okay. That button. Plus that button. No. Nope. Tips are, oh no, 15 plus 2 does that. Unload here, 15 plus 6. There we go. Okay, we will close that again. Um, yeah, so they basically reject Ryzen 7 7800s that either due to thermal handling or there was a dodgy core or something like that. It's, they can't sell it as a 7800 X3D. And it's intentionally uh, throttled in certain ways. But on the whole, that's not necessarily a bad thing. You're still getting a processor that, looking at, I, I've actually started seeing more reports on it, and uh, what's the word for it? The uh, the, um, I don't think I'm going to make it out of there either. Oh, we can do this. It's okay. Um, what do they call it when they uh, test games? Benchmarking on it and comparing it with 
other 5600s or 7800X3D, it performs remarkably well against the 7800X3D, except at 1080p. So, generally not a bad thing, I, th I would guess. Go. So, from what I'm reading, very or seeing, it's a very capable processor. It's only got six cores instead of the eight that the 7800 has. But for basic, basic gaming and single PC streaming, we should be okay. What I'm not sure about at all is what the volume levels are like on the stream. If someone shows up, I will uh, ask how the sound is. I don't know if the game volume's higher because I'm using my speakers are now plugged into a different thing. They're running off the motherboard rather than a USB uh, device. This will be okay. We'll just crush some of the corn because now I've got a wider header. It's a little bit more room for me to tuck in at the back here. But yeah, uh, sound might be a little different and might be a bit off. And the first chance I'm really going to test that is when I take at least a little bit of time to listen to the stream later to see what it all sounds like. We are close to four. What else have we got going on? We're still okay. Keep going. Lucky we'll make it to the bottom corner. I don't think not going to make it to the bottom corner, we might squash some corn here. This very carefully. Looks like I might. Oh. I didn't really. Oh, we were actually. Yeah, we own a lot of this. That's good. like we're going to be reversing into that field there. Or crashing into a hedge which won't let me squash it. So yeah, that's all, really all that's been going on this week. Um, the men fixing the basement uh, didn't complete the job last week, Friday, so they had to come back on Wednesday, because they were at another job Monday and Tuesday. Actually, the main guy was off sick Monday and Tuesday, so was that. So they came back Wednesday and really all it was was to connect the sump pipes outside and run the gutter downspout into the drain that they, they added and concrete the front floor of the basement which is now all done. So everything's done. Um, the concrete should now be hard, which means we can walk on it and potentially move a few things. 
Mountains. Uh, but we're going to have to wait for another week and a half before we can start putting the heavy stuff on it, which means the pantry shelves are all going to stay in the middle of the basement for now. We'll see to that later, I guess. Um, the water softener um, still needs to be put back in the corner. It's also sitting away from the wall. Fortunately on flexible pipes, so uh, they were able to relocate it while they uh, jackhammered the basement floor. 